galaxy you find the black hole where past the event horizon all thermodynamics are absorbed and so on and you leave behind vacuum state geometry. So same dynamics at completely different scale should tell you something about that force and about these change of density. Imagine the change of density between the density between galaxies which in fact only brings a, a molecules centimeters apart and then the density inside a galaxy which is much higher and then the density inside the solar system which is much higher and then the density on the surface of the sun which is much higher and then again and again and again because things are not homogeneous they have different viscosities and different densities which drives the space-time torque. Uh, this is a picture that t was taken um, at the uh, Sydney University of the energy levels, uh, the energy dynamics around uh, carbon atoms, uh, molecules. And so here we see the same vorticular, you know, dynamics of uh, the space-time torque, according to my views. And we'll get into very high scales level. Uh, this, is, uh, this is surveys that were done of superclusters of galaxies that's extremely large. Um, and when they looked that far, they expected that things would be quite chaotic and not organized and so on. And instead, they found the exact contrary. These very large scale structure organizes in octahedrons and um, and tetrahedrons array way out there uh, and these papers are actually uh, published in, in literature and called a uh, fractal or egg carton universe and stuff like that. That's what they're seeing out there and basically it's just like this. If you've got your nose in the rug, if you've got the, your nose in a Persian rug, there's no way you're going to think that there's a pattern to it. You're just going to think it's all chaotic. But if you get far enough from it, if you, get, if you change your scale relationship, all of a sudden you start to see the pattern appear. And that is what I believe we're starting to see is the actual structure of space-time and how it organized matter. Even the table of elements, now we're, that was extremely large, now we're going to much smaller uh, atomic structures. Even the, the table of elements has been solved by uh, Dr. Moon at the Chicago University uh, to have uh, to be able to solve for all the uh, protons, neutrons interaction using the five platonic solids, very specific geometry, and then even um, all of the uh, electron interactions uh, using the Academian solids and the vector equilibria and so on. This is Dr. Moon. Uh, even smaller, you know, you're getting to the electron clouds and the orbitals. You find that these probability orbitals uh, match very specific geometries that have to do with tetrahedron and octahedrons. Uh, the group theoretical models that predict subatomic particles are based on geometry. I mean, they, were, they emerged from crystallography. That's where these models came from, except that typically Physicists ignore the geometry. They say, no, that's just a way to solve the equation. I, I believe that the equation is solvable in geometry because the geometry is fundamental to these particles' interaction. You have to have that geometry to be able to solve it. And, you know, we find that these interacting, uh, these uh, group theoretical models match the isotropic vector metric, the vector equilibrium, and so on. So now we're at the extremely, extremely small. And if you study the Egyptian, the Mayans, the Incas, all these people, the Indians, you know, all these people, they all did this crazy geometry thing. And they talked about it in various ways. But what is most impressive is that they left very tangible things out there that had to do with geometry. And the things they left out there, if they were little models, you know, three feet high with, you know, easy to build, you'd say, well, you know, they must have instinctively figured this out, right? Um, but if they leave behind something like this, 
it brings a whole new set of questions to the forefront. One quarter of an inch off center. That's after placing 2,300,000 stones that you have cut with copper tools. 